guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. For those who's new, my name is Christian and I love plants. And in today's video, we're going to talk all about how to acclimate your house plants. Acclimate is simply the process of getting your plants used to or accustomed to its new environment. We have to remember that plants naturally grow outside in a certain climate condition and certain environment. It really does depend on the plant. So in my last video, I hauled some pretty exotic and rare house plants that are not typically found in your local plant shops or big box stores. These plants are usually imported from overseas where they're obviously native to are grown in a certain climate condition. For example, I have here the Anthurium clarinervium and the Crystallinum, native to Mexico and rainforests of Central and South America. I also have here the Philodendron gigas, which is native to the rainforests of Panama, and the Melanochrysum, which is native to Colombia. So you can imagine those places and the kind of environment that these plants are used to, warm temperatures and high humidity. Because these plants are not commonly grown here in North America, you can't just buy them you know, from overseas and place them in your home and expect them to thrive. You need to create a similar environment and then over time gradually introduce them into the new environment which is your home. Now when it comes to your common house plants like a pothos or a monstera deliciosa, even though they're still native to the rainforest of Mexico and Panama, they've been naturalized and pretty much tissue cultured everywhere in the world. That is why you can easily find them in your big box stores or plant shop and pretty much buy them from there, place it in your home and they'll do just fine. The only thing I suggest when you are bringing home these common house plants is try and mirror a similar lighting environment and temperature environment that they came from. And I also recommend that you don't repot right away. I often get the question, should I repot my house plants after buying it from a nursery? Yes or no? Now, unless it has to be repotted because you know it's it's dying and sick or it's uh, root bound, then yes, do so. But I always recommend to wait a couple weeks until they're used to your new home and the environment it's in before you go ahead and repot it. However, when it comes to plants that are a little bit more rare and imported like these, you have to give them a bit more time to gradually get used to the environment and acclimate them into your home. So here are a few ways you can do that. Disclaimer, this is a new experience for me. I've never had rare plants like these. Uh, so for me, I'm learning along as well. And hopefully in a couple months, we can see how these plants thrive and get accustomed to my home. So the first step to acclimate your house plants is obviously understand where they came from and understand the climate condition that they're used to. So we now know these guys love a couple things. They love a high humidity, warm temperatures, and obviously bright indirect light. So the first thing I wanna do is obviously make sure that my temperature in my home is at least 20 degrees Celsius, which which is I think about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 71. And that's the first thing you wanna do, right? Anything below that, these, these plants typically don't like that. And the second thing I wanna do then is create a humidity box, which is pretty much like a mini greenhouse or an enclosed uh, room that pretty much can trap the warm temperature and the humidity. So there's a couple ways you can create a humidity box. One is getting one of yourself these big plastic bins that you can find at your local big box stores. I found mine at Home Depot, but I'm sure Amazon has them. And what you wanna do here is obviously place some wet moss in there and then you wanna place your plants and close the lid and that will then create a bit of humidity and trap it inside as well as the temperature and place this in an area that gets a lot of bright indirect light because you do still want to care for the plants like you normally do. This bin is great if you have smaller plants or smaller cuttings that you're trying to root. It pretty much acts like a mini greenhouse, right? Or what you guys can do is get yourself one of these guys which is a mini greenhouse that I found at Kennedy Tire. I'm sure Amazon has them as well at your local big box stores but pretty much this mini greenhouse allows me to place all my rare plants in here or plants to require a lot of high humidity and not only will this serve as a mini greenhouse to obviously trap that humidity and the warm temperature but also like a plant shelf and it's going to be great for winter season as well. I do have this place on the right side of my bed so the furthest from the south facing window and the reason for it is because in the summer my bedroom gets pretty hot and the sun shines really brightly so you don't want to risk having your plants too close to the window where in a greenhouse you know it can get really hot and on top of that it can kind of melt the plants so I wanted to definitely avoid that. So that is why I placed it here. The cool thing now is I can finally say I'm sleeping next to a greenhouse. <laughs> but, uh, so the plants I have in my mini greenhouse are those that love a lot of humidity, the Anthurium crystallinum, the Clarinervium, my Philodendron silver sword I also added in there, the Monstera dubii, the Philodendron gigas, my other Anthurium, and obviously one of my favorites is the Philodendron melanochrysum. Because these guys love a lot of humidity, I'll actually also turn on my humidifier that I have inside. I'll turn it on for about an hour in the morning and an hour in the evening to try and get that humidity level up to about 90%. You're gonna wanna get yourself a hygrometer, which pretty much measures the humidity levels in any area of your home. And 
And uh, again, these guys love to be around like the 70, 80, 90% humidity. And my natural humidity level in my home without using a humidifier is about 30%. Uh, with a humidifier, I can get it up to about like 40 or 50%, which is at minimum, I think, where I want these plants to be comfortable in. What you want to do is once you have these guys in uh, your greenhouse and getting used to that, you know, high humidity level that they're used to, is gradually you want to kind of bring that level down. So maybe every week, what I want to do, instead of trying to get this guy to about 90%, I might bring it down to maybe 80% and then 70% and then 60% until it gets comfortable to about 50%. Obviously, you want to continue to monitor your plants, making sure that they are still thriving and you still need to give them your basic care needs lighting and watering right so that is pretty much what i want to do next is to get them comfortable to what they're used to and then every week slowly lower that humidity level down and then at the same time what i want to do in my bedroom because this is where i kind of i think i want to place them maybe some in the living room is i want to get the humidity level up here to about like 40 to 50 percent so again naturally with no humidifiers on it's about 30 percent so what i want to do is when these guys are ready to come out is obviously make sure that my room humidity level is around 50%. Uh, how I go about maybe turning down the humidity level, so you know, in the morning I have it on for an hour, in the evening I have it on for an hour, so that gets me about 70 to 90% 24 seven. Uh, I think what I want to do next week is maybe only turn it on for like 30 minutes, uh, both in the morning or in the evening, and maybe starting to open up the door here to allow more of the room temperature in. Again, what you're trying to do is try and get your room temperature or your home temperature in the greenhouse, uh, you know, to kind of somewhere meet in the middle over time, and that way these plants will start getting a little bit more comfortable to, you know, the 50%, you know, 40, 50% humidity level. I wouldn't go any higher than that, only because obviously you guys know that when you have a lot of moisture in your home, uh, it can cause like, uh, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Mold. <laughs> yes. And I do recall, it wasn't that long ago where uh, there was a, a water break of my neighbor that literally flooded my entire floor. Water was like leaking here. And we had to like turn on uh, all these fans and uh, break you know some of the drywall to just let some air in. And in my mind, all I kept thinking was like, well, at least th my plants are happy because they're getting a bit of humidity. But what you guys definitely want to do is get yourself a humidifier, especially if you live in a dry area or climate. You know, here in Toronto, in my home, it gets pretty dry, especially in the winter. So uh, I got a couple of humidifier here that I'm using. I'll provide a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you acclimate your house plants. So. I'm hoping these guys are gonna do just fine. And in a couple months or a month from time from now, we have these guys out here. I'm thinking I wanna put some of these like above my, uh, my uh, headboard here, top of my bed, uh, cause I think they'll look really beautiful once you start really growing tall, then it can fill up like this, this uh, white space. So that is the goal. But uh, yeah, I'm so happy with these guys. And for those of you guys who's experienced when it comes to acclimating your houseplants, uh, let me know if you have any tips that um, you know would be beneficial for me. Like I said, this is a new experience, so excited to see uh, how these turn out but other than that hopefully you guys enjoy this video we'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your week and stay safe peace